Welcome to part two of the bridge quiz. Just a review, part one, you should have created five questions that are multiple choice, as well as an answer list with the five answers. Okay, so I'm just gonna right click and collapse the block. That way those are out of the way, they're finished up. We're gonna be adding in another variable. And this variable is going to be called current question index. And what this will do is it'll keep track of where we are with the questions. So we're going to go to math here. Current question index is going to be set at 1. We're also going to set up a screen 1 initialize. So under screen 1, when screen 1 is initialized or started, we want it to set the question label text. So we'll go to question label. We want the question label text to select a li an item from our question list. So we'll go to lists here, and you're going to find the block that says select list item. The list that we want, it's a question label, so we want it to come from the question list. So let's go ahead and expand this block. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Right click, expand the block. You hover your cursor till you get this window, and then you're going to select Get global, global Question List. And then for the index, we're going to set that value to 1. So it'll start with the first one from the list. So when the screen starts, it's going to set the question label text to whatever the first question in the question list is. After that, we're going to set up a picture list. So we're going to create another list. So let's go ahead and create that. Um, we're going to create another variable. And this one is going to be called picture list. And that'll go along with our, it's going to go along with our questions. So we'll get the call make a list. And what you want to do, like we did before, we're going to have five pictures. You need to have one for every question, otherwise it will mess up. So you want to make sure you have five slots there. And what you want to do at this point is you're going to go back to the website that you got your questions from. And this picture size is actually perfect for our app. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click, you'll do Save Image and you'll go to my computer and let's go to the 506 fourth nine weeks go to your period go to your folder um, just if you don't have one make an app inventor folder and let's make another folder called bridge quiz and this is very important when you save the file name just save it for whatever picture. So um, you're going to want to expand your question list. So I know that my third question talks about the Akashi Kayo Bridge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this one 3. And I can see that it's a JPEG, and I'm going to save it. And this is tricky. People got tricked up on this last year. So you want to go back to the designer. And down at the bottom, you have a media part. You're going to upload the file there. Choose File. And you'll go to the folder you saved it in. And you'll open it up. Click OK. And you're going to look at the name. So it says 3.jpg. And it's all lowercase. And you want to write this exactly. So on your blocks, I'm going to get this right here. And I'm going to name it 3. JPG. Okay, so it's named exactly how it is under media. Okay, so what I'm going to do and what you need to do is get a picture that correlates to each of your questions. And once you have that, come back to the video. I'm going to pause and do that now. 
All right, so what you should have come up with in your media, you should have one, two, three, four, five dot JPEG or PNG. You can see here that two and four are both capitalized. And on your blocks under your picture list, you want to basically copy that. So two and four I capitalized as JPEG. Some of you may end up with PNG, so you just want to type PNG. Some of them may have some of the JPEGs may have the word or letter E in the word, so you would just do that. Okay. All right. So once we have that picture list set up, the next thing to do is to set the picture. Okay. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to get the next button. So when the next button is clicked, we want it to do a series of things. And the first one is going to be under control here. We're going to get this if then statement here. And we're going to go to math and we're going to get the equal sign. And we're going to match up the global question index. So we're going to hover here. You want to get global question index. So if the global question index, and then we'll go to list here you want to get the one that says length of list and then the list will be the question list so if the current question index is equal to the length of list global question list we're going to set the global question index to zero so we want to hover right here set global question index and we're gonna copy and paste and we're gonna change the number to zero and then underneath that we're gonna set the global question index so when we click it to the next one so I'm gonna copy this block here take this off and I'm gonna get the plus sign and get global question index and we're going to add a value of 1 to it and basically what that'll do is when we click the next button it'll take us to the next question we also want to set the question label so we'll go here we're going to set the question label text to select a list item And that list item will be from the question list. And then the index will be from the current question index. And then the last thing we need to do is set the image for the picture in this part. So we'll go to we're going to go to the picture or image and we're going to set the image picture to and we're going to copy this or right click and duplicate it but we don't want it from the question list we want it from the picture list so we'll go to the picture list here and get picture list Okay. and now what we want to do here is open up our emulator and test it out so I'm going to pause it and then test it out alright so right now if you try to click submit we haven't set that up yet but eventually it'll say correct or incorrect we're gonna set that up the next button is not working as well um, and we're gonna fix that actually in part three so what you want to do don't freak out go to part three and we'll fix that and we're also going to be setting up our submit button. Okay. So I will see you then.